Well, hello, Sir Reads A Lot. How are you doing today? Why, I'm doing fantastic. And you? I'm doing very well, very well. Hey, remember, we had some questions from some of our students at Hebron. Oh, right. Well, give me some. How about that? Okay. Well, Michaela asks, how did Sir Reads A Lot and Dr. Glykoff meet? Well, I recall we must have been at a jousting tournament, correct? Yeah, I believe so. Introduced by Lady Reedsmore? Lady Reedsmore, that's right. She did introduce us. That's right. I think if I recall, Lady Reedsmore had a bunch of books with her that day. Quite a I lot. I don't know if she was there to watch the jousting tournament or actually read. Maybe both. Perhaps. Well, I assume you have a, a guest reader or something. I do, I do. I have... Austin Williamson from the high school with us today. Well, let's bring him on out. All right. Austin, want to join us? Hey, Sir Reads A Lot. Hello, Austin. I understand that you're a high schooler, correct? Yep, last time I checked. <laughs> and you, you do activities at the school. What do you do? Uh, so I'm involved in the uh, Lancer Band in our a cappella program, uh, drama. Oh gosh, let me think. Um, quiz bowl, I do quiz bowl, student council, wrestling, and I want to say that's it. Wow, that's a lot of things you can do. What exactly is a quiz bowl? <laughs> so uh, quiz bowl, it's an academic competition. We go on and we just answer questions. So there's a, a couple like different styles of quiz bowl. Uh, we do primarily OAC. So that's like a regional tournament, that kind of thing. Wow. I think uh, Austin's being a little modest, Sir Reads a lot. Um, what I understand is that the team was third place in regionals. Is that right? Yeah, that's, that's right. Just uh, past Saturday. Wow, you must be very intelligent. Our Big words. <laughs> it's not just me. Uh, there's a bunch of other people on the team that, that do pretty good, too. Well, that's exciting. What book do you have to read for us today? Uh, I brought Splat the Cat in the Overdue Library book. Nice. Looks like a classic, so let's get right to Austin reading that book. Splat the Cat in the Late Library book. Splat's mom noticed that Splat had a lot of books and toys and clothes he didn't use anymore. Time to go through your closet, she said. We're going to donate the things you don't need anymore to kids who do. Splat thought that was a great idea, but his closet was so stuffed he was scared to open the door. Because every time he did, splat. Splat went through his things and put them into piles. Look, Seymour, remember this? Splat asked. I think that shirt is too small, said Seymour. Oh no, what's this? A library book. And it's way, way overdue, said Splat. How's it going up here? asked Splat's dad. Great job, Splat, he said, seeing all the piles. They decided to take clothes to the local shelter. The toys would go to all the children the toys would go to the children's hospital and the books could go to the downtown library. Not the library, Splat shouted. Why not? They're having a book drive today to get more books. People don't always return the ones they check out. What am I going to do? worried Splat. His tail wiggled wildly. The late fine will be ginormous. What will they do to me? Will they send me to jail? Will they make me walk the plank? Hey, maybe I have enough money to pay the fine, Splat told Seymour. Splat grabbed his piggy bank and shook it hard. He only had 25 cents. Time to go, Splat's mom yelled. Get your stuff together. The family went to the shelter first. Splat tried to help his parents carry in the boxes of, do of donations. Unfortunately, he might have tried a little too hard. Splat. Next, they went to the children's hospital. The kids, were, the kids there loved getting all those new toys. Mrs. Sardino, the librarian, met them at the door. Thank you so much for your donation, she said, looking over all the boxes. Splat, it looks like a lot of these books are yours. Splat nodded. It must be very hard to give away all these books. I know I hate to give up my books, even if I haven't read them in ages. Splat started to sweat. I have a whole room in my house filled with books. Some of them I've had since I was your age. I should probably make a donation myself, she said with a laugh. And that was all Splat could take. 
I did it, Splat confessed. My library book is way overdue. I didn't mean to. I just loved the book so much I didn't want to return it. And I loved it so much I hid it in my closet and then I forgot that I'd hid it. And it's like a million years overdue and I'm really sorry. And if you're gonna send me to jail or make me walk the plank, that's okay, Splat cried. I deserve it. Um, Splat, Mrs. Sardino said, it's only a week overdue. You owe 25 cents. Seriously, said Splat, reaching into his pocket. That's okay, said Mrs. Sardino, smiling. This time I think we can let it go. Besides, your generous donation more than makes up for it. Well, that sure was a great book. Tune in to next week's episode of Sir Reads a Lot. And remember, as always, it's Lancet time!